Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video and uh, yeah, you know, it's been a slow trading month so far in August after a fantastically good stretch from January to July, but you know, that's trading. It's uh, happened before. It's going to happen again. Uh, not a big deal. We be patient and we keep our focus, but there have been some uh, very good opportunities and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you another great trade setup called the advanced momentum trade, which I've shown in past videos. And it's a setup that trades the momentum of the market using absolutely no Forex indicators. Okay, just pure price action. It's a pattern that my CC partner, Coach's Corner partner, uh, Darko Ali, introduced to our members years ago. So if you like trading with the trend, you'll love these setups. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. I really would appreciate it. Appreciate that. It really, uh, it can really help our YouTube presence so that other traders who are interested in this kind of trading uh, can find our videos. Okay, let's take a look at this trade. Okay, so the trade was on the Euro New Zealand dollar pair August 9th, which is when I'm recording this, uh, which is uh, uh, a few days ago when you're going to be receiving this. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this, but I'll, I'll show you how we, why, you know, how and why we got into this trade. Um, I'm recording it early because of my scheduling. Uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, record it later. But in any event, uh, if you look at this pair, everything's heading up on it. And when I say heading up, that's because of reading the um, advanced market flow, which is a concept that Darko introduced back in 2017. And it's really, really good. Doesn't use any indicators at all. No stochastics or parabolics or moving averages, crossing over or anything like that. Pure price. You notice how there's no in indicators on this chart at all. So um, th in the upper left is a monthly chart. You can see it's making higher highs and higher lows or higher closes and, and higher lows. Same as on the weekly chart in the upper right, doing the same thing. The daily chart, same thing. Look at these lows are going higher. The highs are going higher. So when you learn how to read what Darko calls the language of the market, which is advanced market flow, there's only one way that you want to be trading this. Uh, to trade with the momentum and that is long you want to be buying it I'm not saying you can't trade counter trend and we do sometimes but this I mean especially if you're starting out just stay with the trend it, it's, it's so much more reliable and and you get the really big moves because if you get in on a move that you're trading in alignment with the you know daily weekly and monthly charts you have some I mean those aren't tick charts right those are those are strong so we get down to our we know that we want to be trading long um, because of the advanced market flow on the higher time frames and we on our entry time frame one hour chart all of this stuff in here I mean if you were trading moving average crossovers or stochastics or parabolics you'd be getting chopped up and spit out like badly it would not be good so you have to know which lows and which highs are significant we cover I mean you know, we cover all that in, in the, we have an a, uh, advanced momentum trade tutorial in our service, but just, it, it, that, you know, just for now, I just want you to see that when you're making these higher highs and higher closes like this, that's what gets our attention. Uh, you see most of the, this was a level of, of uh, resistance on a higher time frame. We broke through it and we're closing way above it here. And so this is, uh, we have specific places to buy on the pullbacks couple of them and um, there's no right or wrong um, sometimes when you buy a deeper pullback you try to buy it you miss the trade and it hits the the closer in pullback and uh, but you know you never know and you have to be okay with missing if that happens I prefer deeper pullbacks because I can get smaller pip risk but again the trade-off is that I can sometimes miss a trade anyway uh, in this case uh, and uh, by the way I, I just in full disclosure I did not have this trade uh, this set up while I was sleeping uh, so unfortunately, I didn't get it. But um, this is a this is the kind of trade that you want to be trying to pick up, and and for the reasons I just stated. I mean, you're trading in alignment with that big, huge momentum. Uh, you know, that's a, like a locomotive heading heading somewhere. You want to get on it. So the uh, with an entry down here, as this thing went up here, uh, you can see that the. I mean, if you bought it here, it went against you a little bit, but it never stopped you. You'd need about a 70 pip risk on this one, and this one needed about a 40 pip risk, maybe a little bit more. And then when it got up to here, by buying it down here, carrying it up to here, you're over a three to one reward risk. So you can see that they have really, really um, strong um, reward risks when you're trading in alignment with these um, uh, with these higher time frames. You know, you can see how it's coming up and closing up above up here, above this high up here. That that's strong, and we're just having another, you know, probably a normal pullback into these levels here. You see how it's reacting, 
This level up here, this gray area, that's the final target. Okay, if it hits, that'll be about 170 pips or about close to a 4 to 1 reward risk trade if you had bought it here. So uh, that's pretty good. And I want you to see this level here. You, it's, it's amazing how they, they match up. That level is actually a weekly level. I'll just show you here. From back into here, you see this? And this high right here. So it makes logical sense that that would be a really good place to take profit. You are, I mean, this thing could keep going up because you have, you know, that momentum going with you. The thing is this, that's, this is trade management. And if you don't have a trade management plan ahead of time, you're going to have a, it's really going to be tough because you're going to be trying to, you know, figure things out on the fly and all that. That's a really tough way to trade. Like have a trade plan set up in the first place, stick to it and be happy with it. Maybe you're happy with the three to one reward risk. Nothing wrong with that. That's a great uh, profit, but maybe you want to go for that. Uh, the target up there uh, that's great too you know or maybe you want to trail your stop somehow that's fine too there, there's different ways of trade management but you bet you got to have one in the first place okay so anyway I, listen not all trades work out profitably obviously that's trading but most of these do uh, and when you latch on to winners like this where you trade with the higher time frame trend by getting in on the smaller time frame you can see that the reward risk can be huge thanks so much for watching uh, you know I hope you at least found that uh, that kind of a setup intriguing uh, and of course the full video tutorial on this setup is in our members area so if you do end up joining our service everything is explained there uh, and of course like all of our patterns uh, that the advanced momentum trade can be applied to short-term or long-term trading okay, it's just a matter of using the correct time frame combinations so thanks everyone I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and trading week ahead take care all the best